So here is what a puzzle looks like. What you are seeing on the left hand side are the devices and rooms tracked by the activity trackers we deployed in the participants home. We call those devices and rooms activity sources. On the right hand side, the colorful grid represents activity levels of those activity sources throughout that particular day. Each row of those squares color codes the activity levels of a device or a room, but you don't know which source it is. It could be any of the devices or rooms on the left hand side. Each square in this grid shows activity level of a particular hour. A more active hour is represented by a darker shade of the color. For example, if Leslie's iPhone generated those uh, purple activities, then Leslie used it much more between uh, 11 and 12 p.m., then 10 and 11 a.m. To solve the puzzle, players need to look at those activity patterns and perhaps talk about it with their family members and then try to figure out which activity source might be responsible for a particular activity stream on the right hand side. For example, let's take a look at the row in uh, light orange, so this row. If I remember correctly, it represents when the mom used her laptop that day. Let's see if I am correct. So what I would do is to uh, select the dot in front of this line and then click on the source. I saw it would match with the activity stream. Uh -huh. So I was right and uh, the laptop has been matched with this activity stream. To keep players engaged, we thought it's important to not frustrate them. We want them to believe this puzzle can be solved if they try hard. Every minute, they have an opportunity to see a hint, which will tell them whether a color represents a device or a room. Let me show you how it works. So you just need to click uh, the button here. Show the hint. So as you can see, it tells us this uh, pink line is one of the devices. But if you are the kind of person who wants more challenge, some puzzles have those uh, gray boxes, which only reveal the activity level of the hour after the player clicks on it, like this. But you need to be strategic in opening a gray box, because it will cost you a move. And as a family, the players need to solve the puzzle before they use up all their moves. So they have limited moves, number of moves for each puzzle. When a puzzle is finally solved, it shows the players a nice replay of their day, as you can see on the screen. This animation shows them the rhythm of the day in their home. So how well did our participants do? Please read the paper to learn how much and why they enjoy the game, how the game helps them become more aware of their behaviors, and what triggered their reflection. Thank you.